Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Ellie Greenwood before the 2015 Le Templier. Ellie, it's been way too long. How are you? I'm good, yes. It has been a long time, so, so yeah. Um, I take it you're all healthy. I am, yes, which uh, I guess for this year is a rarity. And uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. I guess everyone else is saying this is uh, winding up their year, whereas I'm like, hey, it's just getting going, right? But uh, no, I'm feeling good going into the race. So, what's been the, the issue or issues this year? Uh, like start of the year I just had little niggles and then I was just getting through those and then um, hand accident like bike accident broken hand that obviously didn't affect the running too much but did interrupt training for a while um, and then this summer it's just been like one kind of little thing after another and you know big enough little things yeah. that it's interrupted training and limited training and that kind of stuff but I would say Probably, I can't even remember now, but since middle of August or so, I've been, you know, consistent, consistent and getting in good mileage and, uh, yeah, good sessions. So I, f I feel ready for this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you ran, uh, was it a 10K personal best a <laughs> week or two ago? Yeah. 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 Which was, I mean, uh, I'm kind of joking when yeah. I say it to people because uh, it was my first 10k race in five years. <laughs> um, but, you know, so even so, um, yeah, it was good timing. You know, there was a race that happened to be going on and I'd been doing pretty fast workouts uh, with my running club. And so it was like, hey, I would like to, you know, actually go and do a race and get like an official time as it were. Yeah. So, no, I've definitely I've got speed right now. 75k I mean I know it's not a super long ultra but it is an ultra so we'll uh, see if I've got the endurance yeah, so, yeah. does that even doing a race of, of 10k give you a little more confidence going into into a yeah because I mean it's all very nice going to workouts and going like oh I'm you know getting good times and workouts yeah. um I think also as well like it was funny I did uh, yeah like it literally in the last two weeks I did that one again it was a low-key 10k road race and then with my running club uh there was a, a relay race and I did like a 13k uh leg of that so just to get into like back into racing and feeling super motivated and like that kind of mindset I actually I, and I that wasn't the reason I did either of those but coming out of it I was like I think that's good because I now come to this like feeling yeah like excited to race because I got into the racing mindset so what brought you to you know you've been injured all year on and off what just what brought you to Le Templier now that you're feeling good uh, I mean, I'd hoped to do this at the start of the year, so mm. it'd been on my calendar okay. kind of all the time. Um, and yeah, it was nice, uh, like, I mean, I love France, right? It's a nice opportunity to come to France. I've obviously not raced in this area. It's maybe, say, a little different from going to like Chamonix or something mm -hmm. like that. So you get to see different stuff. Um, I like the concept of how they've got, you know, the French team and the European team and all, all the different teams. Which team are you on, by the way? Um, <laughs> the European, of course. Okay. Because it's Team USA. That's so true, I was, true. It was if it wasn't. You've been hanging out with the North South Africans team. a lot. I've been hanging out with <laughs> South Africans. So, no, but that was part of it, right? Is because there's this team concept. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, obviously that adds just an element of fun. Um, but also, yeah, it does mean that maybe there is a bit more competition than there might be otherwise at say mm -hmm. a race like this that maybe some people in the US go well what is this race um, and so that adds yeah friendly and a competitive element to it so I, I that appealed to me yeah um, 75k how are you gonna approach that as a race you know coming off a few weeks of, or a few months of training yeah, I mean, I've uh, I've got some long runs in you in have. training. How, yeah. that, how have they gone? Um, like pretty good, yeah. pretty good. And I did a a forty four k race in September in Revelstoke, BC. So you've done an ultra in the last yeah, month. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> no, I know. I mean, I was joking and saying if this course is short, I was going to like run around the parking lot at the finish <laughs> to make sure it wasn't about no. But it was a five hour race. Okay. So you know, I've been in a sense refreshed with that concept mm -hmm. of like okay you know don't go out blazing fast just pace it obviously I mean I don't know this course but by the sounds of it yes there's you know in a sense that harder slower more technical bits are maybe later on mm -hmm. right so I'll just I'll just go out and see and so I you have see. heard a little bit about the course that it's a, a little there bit. are some flat fast sections but there's also some 
oh, real hikers yeah, and yeah which i mean you know that is totally fine because when i couldn't run like tons or was you know and then easing back in and therefore you know limiting my running um like in vancouver we've got uh grouse mountain mm -hmm. uh which is well there's various routes up it but you can hike up let's say i don't know two and a half miles and again, I'm doing this in uh, trying to do an imperial for you guys. <laughs> I'm then gain about uh, two and a half thousand feet. M mirrors gain. also work. Okay, so 800 <laughs> meters over uh, yeah. 3k, right? Okay. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of hiking. Um, so no, I've definitely got the hiking practice in, and yeah, I've been trying to get elevation in, but uh, you know, I've got, yeah, so I think it'll... Now, while you were injured, not with a hand injury, have you been doing some cycling or other cross training? Uh, yes yeah yeah i mean i'm not like by any means like a cyclist but i do enjoy road cycling mm -hmm. um so yeah when there was a few weeks where i did like not run like at all because it was like okay i think i just need to like pull the plug mm -hmm. here rather than just back off so no i was road cycling like i said i was doing a lot of uh hiking and so yeah it should help i think i maybe pull around a few times not much. Not much. That's not your thing. <laughs> not in the summer. I mean, it's a, it's a great option, but you know, like I said, when I've got the option of okay, you can cycle or you can hike, then it's like yeah, okay, pool running goes further down on the list. Gotcha. So, yeah. Well, it's great to have you back, and uh, good luck out there. Thank Allie. you so much.